Hey guys, my name is Gary. I'm a grateful recovering alcoholic and drug addict. So, I I went to a meeting yesterday and I, I got to see, went to a meeting and had lunch with my sponsor uh, who I haven't seen in uh, probably six months or four or five months, something like that, five months. And it was nice to spend spend the day with him, spend a few hours with him. Um, what I'm going to be doing is um, I'm going to interview some alcoholics and drug addicts uh, in the next week here. And we'll get to, you'll get to take a look at um, um, other people besides me, like what they're doing for their sobriety and, and how they they work their their steps and how they get through life using the 12 steps so it won't be just my my own opinion and you'll be able to see other people and maybe you'll you'll relate to them better than um, you you can relate to me on certain things um, it's always it's always good to hear different different people and it's kind of like what what you get when you when you uh, when you go to meetings you hear different other people's different uh, opinions, other people's di different experiences, um, which I'm excited to be, I'm excited to do. I'm excited to, to uh, uh, sit down with these people. Um, the first person is going to be my sponsor, so he's coming up on 40 years of sobriety, which is just blows me away. Um, I met him when he had. I guess it would be about 18 or 19 years of sobriety. I've known him 21, 22 years. So, um, the meeting yesterday was about step two and about faith and hope. And um, step two is that faith, taking that leap of faith, taking that um, that nesty plunge. If anybody remembers those commercials. Where the where the they would do the commercial and the person would fall backwards into the pool, you know, taking that leap of faith that the water's going to be there, right? That God's going to be there um, for us, or our higher power, or uh, our own conception of that power. Um, so yeah, I'm excited, and that's what's going to be coming up. So the. Uh, my my step two was sitting next to me yesterday in that meeting, and uh, I got to see um, I got to share about um, what that looked like for me, and what that looked like for me was when I was new in AA. Um, he was the first sponsor I ever had. I I watched him work the steps and, and get through situations and get through life um, using the steps and taking a look at okay what is this is what it looks like to, to be an alcoholic and to to live sober and and how, how do you get through life and, and life's problems um, using the 12 steps so I would watch him go to a meeting every day this is a guy that would he would be in a business meeting with 10 or 15 people and if it was an alcoholic calling him on his phone he would step outside of the meeting he would say hold on I, I have to take this call and he always I watched him make Alcoholics Anonymous uh, his first priority in life and this is a guy that was running a 30 million dollar a year business and had many employees and um, you know, it was very common that I'd be sitting in his office and, um, you know, he would have, uh, you know, be going through something with some people in, in business and that phone would go off and he'd say, um, I'll, be I'll be right back. I need to take this. And he would take the phone call. He always made Alcoholics Anonymous um, his priority. And I watched the life he had and not the materialistic things, not the material things. I mean, those were nice too. But um, I watched the, the love he was surrounded by in the friendships, deep friendships. And 
that have carried this guy through the last 40 years of his, his life. Um, and, and the friendships he's developed in the last 40 years of his life. Um, and I'm not, not, uh, not trying to share too much of his story, but that was my, my second step. So I watched somebody have a dependence on something they couldn't see, touch, or feel. Um, and watched the gifts that were given to him through recovery and through, sobri uh, through sobriety. And it was, it was, the guy's led an amazing life. And you'll get to hear it uh, coming up on the next video. So I talked to him yesterday and he's willing to sit down and, and go through for a half hour or 40 minutes of his story. And then we'll make some clips, some short clips of it also. So stay tuned. And uh, you guys have a great day today. Um, I do believe it's, it's our choice. And if, you, if your day's going sideways, you can recheck uh, and restart your day. Um, sit down, do a little meditation, take a deep breath, take a walk, and recheck your day. I'll talk to you guys soon. Stay tuned.